This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. The greenhouse effect is where thermal radiation emanating from the sun passes via the atmosphere. The earth absorbs a portion of the rays and reflects another amount back to the atmosphere. The presence of greenhouse gases, for example, carbon dioxide plus methane, causes heat trapping in the earth. This is possible because the infrared radiation emitted from the surface cannot pass the greenhouse gases without absorption. When greenhouse gases absorb the radiation, they send the heat energy to the surface and to the lower atmosphere, causing the Earth's average temperatures to elevate. Increases in greenhouse gases to undesired levels cause conditions around the globe to become unbearable. Increases in greenhouse gases result from pollution due to human acts, such as burning fossil fuels. In addition, industrial activities release significant amounts of gases, increasing their atmospheric volume. Large volumes of greenhouses in the atmosphere mean that the Earth will continue to warm substantially because of the heat trapped by those gases. As the volume of gases increases, trapping increases, leading to a rise in surface and atmospheric temperatures. The action of the greenhouse effect on Earth is different from actual greenhouses because there is a flow of air in the atmosphere. This flow can lead to drops or rises in temperature due to loss of heat to the flowing air. What are the primary greenhouse gases? The main greenhouses include carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane chlorofluorocarbons, ozone, and nitrous oxide. Water vapor is the most significant greenhouse gas. It occurs naturally and in large volumes in the atmosphere. Water vapor causes the most significant percentage of the greenhouse effect, 60 to 70 percent, and does not remain in the atmosphere because of losses through rain. Carbon dioxide gas makes up about 55 percent of global warming and results from human activities that are common in the world today. The release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere is due to the combustion of fossil fuels and pollution from industries. Human acts such as the felling of trees and clearing of plant cover result in rises in carbon dioxide levels. This occurs because plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen for human use. Methane causes about 25% of global warming. Despite its low amounts in the atmosphere, it traps more heat than carbon dioxide. The gas occurs due to fossil fuel combustion, especially in industries. Nitrous oxide and CFCs contribute to global warming, with nitrous oxide occurring naturally and CFCs artificially. What is the present level of atmospheric carbon dioxide? What are the reasons for the increase? The present levels of carbon dioxide are 360 parts per million, a 30% increase from the 1860s. After the Industrial Revolution in the 1850s, there was a rapid increase in the use of fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas. Burning these fuels was an attempt to generate the energy to run the factories. However, the combustion of these fuels led to the release of substantial amounts of pollutants, including carbon dioxide. As industries continued to produce chemicals, agricultural practices required those chemicals in order to increase production. The use of fertilizers for agriculture contributed to immense atmospheric pollution, causing amounts of carbon dioxide to rise. The need for land for cultivation led to deforestation. Agricultural activities produce other greenhouse gases, such as methane. Today, Industries continue to expand, and human activities are rampant due to the increased world population. The rise of pollutants is inevitable. What are some predicted environmental damages if carbon dioxide emissions remain high? Carbon dioxide damage to the environment is evident because the gas absorbs the most significant fraction of emissions. The rise of carbon dioxide is likely to change the entire global climate. There are expectations of the elimination of forest cover due to increases in carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide increases will lead to rising sea levels and alter agricultural production. 
the low production will occur due to changes in weather patterns resulting in heavy or inadequate rainfall. Failure to reduce the amounts of carbon dioxide will cause an increase in temperature, making various parts of the world difficult to live in. Climatic change will impact various systems, including human health, due to the intensity of sun rays. In your analysis, how certain do we need to be about future predictions before acting on this problem? Certainty is a requirement in these predictions in order to provide appropriate measures. In order to act, it is fundamental that we understand the science that concerns these occurrences. Since appropriate measures will entail the creation of policies, policymakers need to understand both scientific and policy aspects. This will provide an understanding of the uncertainties that involve each aspect. This essay on Greenhouse Effect Explained was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for free of charge.